who was Galileo Galilei. Funny name, huh? Well, he was a very serious guy. The name Galileo comes from Latin and means of Galilee, which is a region in northern Israel and has a biblical importance. And the man going by the name Galileo Galilei was an Italian scientist who has been referred to as the father of modern science, modern physics and scientific method. He has made immense contributions to the scientific world with his discoveries, revelations, books and much more that we will delve into right now. So, if this 17th century genius has interested you to learn more about his life and career, continue watching and enjoy! Early Life Let's start from when Galileo or Galileo di Vincenzo Bonaiuti de Galilei was born. This was on February 15th of the year 1564 in Pisa, Italy. His father, Vincenzo Galilei, a composer and mother, Giulia Amanatti, raised six children, Galileo being the eldest. However, despite the fact this was quite uncommon, especially for Roman Catholics, Vincenzo also had two daughters with a woman named Marina Gamba, giving Galileo two more half-siblings. Galileo, at the age of 10, moved to Florence to join his family after they had already lived there for two years. Vallombrosa Ebi is where it's thought he got his education from the years 1575 to 1578. Apart from studying, Galileo, as well as his younger brother, was influenced by his father to take up music and it is known he was able to play the lute which is a string instrument similar to a small guitar. Then, he continued his education at University of Pisa, even though he had his heart set on becoming a priest. He started by studying medicine and later on changed to mathematics, as he accidentally attended a geometry class and was absolutely fascinated by the nature of the subject. What would have happened if his father Vincenzo hadn't urged him to go into higher education? God knows! Scientific Contributions Now, let's see what exactly he learned during his time in university and what sort of contributions he made to 17th century science. Some of his biggest discoveries are astrological discoveries that include observing the Moon, the stars, the Milky Way, planets like Saturn and Neptune, which we will discuss in more detail very soon. But before we do, it is important to address that Galileo was the very first man on Earth to say that even the laws of nature, also referred to as laws of science, are highly mathematical. What does this mean? We live in a universe that is subject to mathematical laws, so when explaining our scientific law, Galileo used mathematics and geometry in his book, The Sayer, but more on that later. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave a comment saying I subscribed and I will personally reply to your comment. Telescope The very first telescope in the world is thought to have been invented in the Netherlands in the early 1600s, which was then called Dutch perspective glasses. This is when Galileo heard about this new technology, decided to build his own version in Italy, presented to the state in Italy, as a result of which he was transferred to the University of Padua to teach and was offered a much higher salary. Regardless of the fact that Galileo was not the first to invent and come up with the idea of a lens that could be utilized for scientific discoveries, he was the first to point it towards the sky. He challenged Aristotle's idea that the moon was a perfect smooth sphere ball by studying the uneven surface and its mountains. He was also the first to discover the sunspots, which are visible on the sun as dark brown or orange spots, where the temperature is lower than on the rest of the star. He also closely studied the Milky Way, which was previously thought to have been a cloud, as the stars were aligned so closely together, they formed the perception of a united body. Books The Operations of the Geometrical and Military Compass, 1604 Galileo has a never-ending list of published and unpublished written works such as the previously mentioned The Assayer, written in Italian in 1623, The Stary Messenger in Latin, 1610, as well as The Operations of the Geometrical and Military Compass or Le Operazioni del Compasso Geometrico et Militare, 
in Italian, 1604. In this book, Galileo discusses the division of the line, rule for changing money, the compass as quadrant, and much more, which he actually dedicated to the most serene prince of Tuscany, Duke Cosimo Medici, in Padua. Death Galileo lived a life of endless discoveries and passed away at the age of 77 in 1642 due to heart problems and high fever. He was buried in the Basilica of Santa Croce but was later buried in the main body of the same church in order to have a monument in his honor. This is when three of his fingers and teeth have been removed from his body to put on display at the Galileo Museum in Florence, Italy. And just like that, we have reached the end of the video. Did you enjoy learning a little bit more about the man who changed the landscape of modern science? If so, let us know down below what your favorite part was and whether or not you will be picking up a Galileo Galilei book in the near future. Thank you for watching. Until next time.